Yeah, everyone, Terrence here. We're back with another video. Welcome to my channel. If you are a new viewer, today we are talking about uh, the She-Hulk TV series that ended a couple of weeks ago on Disney+. Plus. Um, a little background here. I always start off like that, but a little background here. Um, I'm a huge comic book collector, huge comic book fan. I've been collecting comics books for like 40 years. And I have a shitload of the Hulk comics. You know what I mean? So the Hulk is one of my top 10 favorite superheroes like many i am not really a big fan of how the mcu has been uh doing the character you know what i mean uh, sometimes i feel it's hit sometimes i feel it's a miss just like i feel about phase four and the mcu uh phase four has been a hit and misses more misses personally to me than hits in my opinion so i was curious how they was going to do the show because in the comic books she hawk is she's very different she's out there she's very similar to how uh Deadpool was written, how Deadpool is. Uh, so she breaks the fourth wall. She could be a little bit kind of silly, but at the same time, she can be a badass. Um, she's portrayed very sexy, very strong, very independent and um, comical. So when I heard they was gonna do a lawyer show, uh, a lawyer comedy show, superhero lawyer comedy show, I was like, you know what, this fits. Okay, this fits exactly how the character is in the comic books. I'm gonna see this, I'm gonna watch this. But before I give my review, if you guys could do the things, I would really appreciate it. Thanks, like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help my channel out. Thank you so much. Let's begin. So as I said before, the show is a comedy and it centers around uh, Jennifer Walters, who happens to be the cousin of the Hawk. Um, after an accident, she gets his abilities and the Hawk trains her um, how to control her powers. She's being mad disrespectful during the training session. I will talk about that later on. But anyhow, um, she ends up getting a job representing super empowered people. So basically almost every other episode, she's representing someone who has superpowers, uh, magic powers, or something of that nature. Some of these characters are from the comic books. Some are original created characters for the show. We get some uh, characters from the MCU, like Wong and of course Daredevil. But anyhow, the show is basically about um, Jennifer. And for some reason, Jennifer can't land a date. As un unbelievable as that is, she can't find love. So she has to balance this lawyer life, uh, sometimes a superhero life, and a love life. And when you know it, there's an organization out there that does not like her and wants to take her powers. And just like in the comics, she breaks the fourth wall. But the way they do on her hair is very similar to Malcolm in the Middle. Tantiana Mislani is our She-Hawk and, you know, she plays both characters well. Um, truthfully, I, I kind of like her, prefer her more when she's Jennifer, you know. Um, but she is funny, she is witty, she is energetic, she's cute. She does, she brings this character to life well. Jamila Jamel plays Titania. Uh, she's a villain in the comic books. Um, I didn't like this version of her. I really didn't care for it at all, to be honest with you. That was a little bit too silly and not a real threat. It was good seeing Tim Roth back as the Abomination, even though his character was uh, was kind of whack also, but it's still good to see him. Wong is back too, and uh, I gotta tell you, they... Uh, I, 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 I didn't care for Wong in this. And the Hawk is in this too. And, uh, you know, again, like I said earlier, I, I think how they done the Hawk is just so, it's just so depressing to me. It's so, I, I, I just don't care for it. But at least he looks good. Um, I think She-Hawk looks good too. Looks good too. I don't understand the complaints about how um, her character was, her character model was looked and everything. I think she looked fine. I think her and the Hawk looked fine. Abomination looked great. Um, I thought the special effects look great too. It's just that, you know, what's the point of having good special effects if you got really silly, goofy stories? I understand it's a comedy, but at the same time, the stories were just corny. They weren't funny. They gave us nine episodes, which is good. It's just that these nine episodes weren't that good. They weren't that great to me. Um, I, I felt they got better towards the end, but not that much. Not by much, I should say. I'm gonna be blunt, I didn't care for the show at all. I didn't find it funny. And I understand that this was supposed to be a comedy, but a comedy is supposed to be funny, right? 
I didn't really find any of the stuff funny. I found the stuff, some of the stuff cute, but I didn't find it hilarious or funny. I also didn't find myself rooting for Jen. You know, there's a couple of scenes where some bad stuff happened to her, and I'm like, she didn't deserve it, but at the same time, I really didn't care. And some of the things they had her say and do, well, they're very obnoxious to me. And again, I understand breaking a fourth wall. And I'm not a big fan of breaking a fourth wall characters or shows, but when it's done right, you can get a laugh out of me. The thing she does at the end with uh, the Kevin robot, I thought that was extremely corny. I know it was basically ripped from the comics, but I, f I still found that extremely corny. I also found what she said about the Hawk to be very disrespectful. The Hawk, you know, he lost his family, he lost his friends, uh, he lost the love of his life, he can't be with her. You know, he was lost in space and everything, he lost time. And she's talking about how hard it is to be a loyal woman. The stuff they say about men, it's just, uh, come on now, we're still doing this shit? Why can't we just come to the point and understand that men were buying these comics in the 80s and the 90s and the 2000s? And again, you got the online trolls or whatever like that. But as the saying goes, don't feed the trolls. All you're doing is giving them fuel to be still doing bullshit. I mean, they're going to watch it regardless. I watched every single episode with my wife and she enjoyed it. She loved it. She was laughing and she found it hilarious. And, you know, and that got me thinking that maybe the show just wasn't for me. It wasn't made for me. And I get that. So here's my rating system. And I thought She-Hulk was corny. It wasn't for me and it wasn't good. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment and definitely consider subscribing. Here's a clue for my next video. And I want you guys to take care of one another. Namaste.